originally I was going to run C5 Corvette brakes on the Formula's um, modified spindles. So that's what this bracket here is for. This would modify your factory F-body spindle and allow it to bolt the uh, C5 or C6 as they go now. Um, standard caliper abutments on. But life moved on to some different products came out. I decided to try one. So this is the uh, CPP 70 to 81 Firebird Camaro, the F body caliper. I mean, um, sorry about that. Um, the spindle with an integrated C5, C6, um, and C7, as the case turns out, bearing. So along with that, I decided, well, why not upgrade the brakes if I'm going to really upgrade the brakes? So I went from the standard 13-inch C5, C6 Corvette to the 13.5-inch Z51, also known as J55, um, C6 Corvette brakes. And that required this abutment here, which is just slightly taller than a factory one. Give me just a second, I'll show you. Okay, so this is a standard C5, C6 Corvette, and this is the C6 Z51 option, which has the larger, and as you can see, the mounting distances from here to here is greater on this one, which makes up the difference in the rotor height. So I'll show you what that looks like bolted on. Is this. You say, what is this? And I'll show you. On the C6, you had to have a special SKF race bearing. This is a C7 Corvette wheel bearing, and as you can see, it's made by SKF. This, um, I got these for slightly less than $100 each. Needed two of them, obviously. Um, the C6 race setup, they were about $700 a piece. So yeah, significant savings. And this is going to bolt right into there. And we will use some ARP hardware. Those of you that see my videos, you know that I like this stuff. So that's what I'm gonna go with. But there's one thing before that. I'm not caring for the silver look of the cal caliper abutment, so I think I'm going to paint it black just to make it all blend. Okay, so I've got this hanging up here. It's uh, uh, November 23rd, and um, it's getting kind of cold, so let's see. I'm going to use this duple color. It's a caliper paint, and this is with ceramic, so we'll try a tack coat and see how it comes out. sit for a little bit and see what it does okay that uh, quote-unquote tack coat took pretty good so I went ahead and sprayed the whole thing but um, it's a lot heavier than a tack coated this can sprays really quick <laughs> so be aware of that if you're gonna use it it puts out a lot of volume but yeah it laid out pretty nice and um, I'm gonna let it sit out here in the Sun and dry and take it down and see what it looks okay, like Okay, so I think I'll give you guys a little rundown real quick um, you got your abutment here. You've got there's sliders on here, and the reason they're called sliders is because they slide. These are greased up and everything, and the caliper slides back and forth on them. So as the piston supply pressure moves it in and out, um, and there's a couple little retaining bolts right here. And other than that, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, these things are super lightweight. These are made by PBR and this is just a factory it's factory Corvette takeoff and you can see these things are really clean I got a I got a really really good deal on these and um, while I'm at it I'd like to give a little shout out to one of my buddies this is mad scientist garage go check him out on YouTube he's on Instagram but check him out he uh, 
just released a video for a turbo 350 shift kit and whatnot and um, he's got some good stuff on there so anyways i'll be back with another second yeah yeah that's a big rotor it's uh you know, almost the size of some of the factory rims that could have come on a formula um there's our painted up bracket there's our caliper here's our assembled knuckle here with uh the c7 corvette stuff ARP parts and everything. I'm going to assemble it off camera and show you what it looks like. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll assemble it off camera. I'll give you right back. And here's the assembly. And it's hard to get perspective because of the size. So I'm going to offer you this. That's a standard soda. <laughs> That's my hand. This is this. It's massive. Let's try turning it on the side a little bit. Easy, girl. Ah, there we go. Now, this thing is huge. Here. There's our soda can right there, just for reference. These brakes are monstrous. So, I'll be taking the rest of it apart. I gotta detail it. I need to buy some ARP hardware for down here because I'm not really happy with what's on there right now. It's not the right stuff anyways, but um, yeah, so this is gonna conclude part one. Some people have asked what the extra abutment's for, and the standards, and for those of you that got to see a little sneak peek, you'll notice that the Tempest has four wheel manual drums. Well, that's not going to be happening too long, so this monster is going to be getting four-wheel disc brakes also, but we'll start off with some basic C5 stuff in the front for low dollar and, um, you know, good durable stopping. I've got, I got a future video that will cover that under the Tempest section. And like I said, if for some reason the spindles don't work out, or for those of you who want to follow along, this adapter plate I got from Core 3, um, it allows you to bolt on all the Corvette parts from like from here out. So it's just a matter of modifying your spindle. You got to cut off some ears, tap a few holes right there and right there that are your dust shields, and off we go.